So I ran into an issue with type propagation in TypeScript. Um, let me quickly explain what type prop what I mean by type propagation, and then I'll describe what the issue is. So if we have a uh, generic function which has a generic type argument, and it does something here, it's, we don't care about it for now. And we have then a function which is also generic that accepts a generic argument and returns the, uh, this generic argument. Uh, under type propagation, what we expect to happen is that when we add, uh, put our generic argument into our generic function here, that the return type would retain the generic property of the argument here. Since the, the, this T is just passed along, it should technically be known to TypeScript. Now, the issue I ran into it, that doesn't always happen and doesn't always work. And I disagree with why it doesn't work uh, to the point that I'd even call it a language bug. As far as I can tell, it's not one. I couldn't find any documentation on this behavior, both for propagation and um, the losing of the type. Um, I'm one of those people that actually read documentation. But if it's in the documentation, I'd be very happy if someone could point out to me where that is, because I'd be very interested in reading that section. Anyway, uh, point is here we have the other um, lossy function. We can see it does the exact same thing. It accepts the, uh, the, the type, and it just returns the type as well. Same, same function, same argument works exactly the same, but when I hover over it, we see we lost our type. We adjust generic arguments unknown. Let me just co copy this and uh, annotate it here. And let's go over our kept and annotate the, func the result here. Um, uh, we can we can see that in the propagation case, we actually just kept everything. Um, the, the propagation completely vanished and um, the important thing is we kept our T here. Um, so what's the difference between those two? The only difference between these two objects is this has extra properties. It's not just an object containing a single function. Um, it also works without any issues on just function types. So like propagates two, which just takes a function, uh, also keeps its um, types. So in essence, we always lose type propagation when we have an actual object, not a function or what TypeScript considers a function. I'm assuming it considers this also just a function. So this will not work on classes. This will not work on interfaces. This will not work on plain objects as long as they are not just functions. Um, and yeah. So I ran into that issue due to uh, actually writing higher order components um, and using a component type in React, uh, which is over classes and the functional components of React. And an interesting thing to note about functional components in React, they're actually defined like this. They're, they're a function with extra properties. So higher order components over generic components if you use the FC keyword or the component type keyword, will lose type information. In other words, you cannot define a proper higher order um, component over the types defined by TypeScript. You can only use role function arguments, which is a very interesting feature um, and a very disappointing issue. I don't see why the language can't do this because if it can infer the type here, it should be able to infer the type there. There's no extra complexity for the compiler. And yeah, I don't know. Just letting a bit of, uh, a bit of steam off because uh, it really ticked me off. Anyway, I hope this was interesting. Um, again, if you know where that is documented, I'd be very happy to read it. Just leave a comment then. Thank you.